So let's suppose that we have two cars moving towards a corner in a road and that corner is at a 90 degree angle. So we have car one that's moving along the x-axis in the positive direction with a velocity of 40 kilometers an hour. And likewise, we have car two that is moving upward along the y-axis with a velocity of 60 kilometers an hour. Now, we want to find what the relative velocity of car two is with respect to car one. So in other words, we want to choose a reference frame such that car 1 is stationary while car 2 is the car that's moving. So if we choose the reference frame in which car 1 is stationary, that means we're making believe that this car is not only moving along the y-axis, but it's also moving along the x-axis with the same exact magnitude of car one, but different direction. So if we are to draw our vector diagram, we get the following picture. So here's our moving object, our car two, and here's our assumed to be stationary object, object one, the car one. And this is the relative velocity that we want to find. So our vector going upward along the y-axis is 60 kilometers an hour, and our vector going along the x-axis in the negative direction is 40 kilometers an hour. So we want to find what the magnitude of this angle or this side is, our relative velocity. And we want to find our direction. So we want to find what the value of the angle is with respect to our x-axis. So we have to use our Pythagorean theorem. We know the base, the height. So that means we have 60 squared plus 40 squared. Add that up. You take the radical and we get approximately 72.1 kilometers uh, an hour is the magnitude of the relative velocity vector. What about our angle? So we can use the trigonometric tangent function. So we have tangent of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. So we have 60 divided by 40. We take the inverse of this function and we find that the angle is approximately 56.3 degrees. So our relative velocity points in this direction with this angle and has a magnitude of 72.1 kilometers an hour.